This is a story about a girl named Ditchi. One day, while she was playing tholak in a tree, her three brothers were also up there. Down below in the field, sheep were bleating. Suddenly, Dada called for Ditchi, and his voice echoed through the pine, cedar, and ash trees. He told the boys to safely take the sheep home. Then. Dada guided other animals like mules to cross the knee deep river. Ditchi quickly climbed down from the tree like a mountain goat and tucked her skirt to step on the rocks. However, she slipped and fell into the river with a big splash. Thankfully, Chacha was nearby fishing and he tried to help her. Suddenly the river's flow became furious. Chacha rushed to grab Ditchi by the arm but her left leg got caught under a large rock Meanwhile Dada who was with the animal started to become less visible as the flash flood intensified Tragically Dada drowned in the raging water Chacha struggled to maintain his balance as he made a valiant effort to free Ditchi's leg from under the rock he was completely soaked but he persisted in trying to rescue her ditchi was in extreme pain due to her injured leg and the situation was really very terrible after a great effort chacha managed to pull ditchi's left leg out from under the rock but she was in such severe pain that she fainted He left Ditchi with her mother and immediately ran back to search for her dada. Tragically, dada never returned. He was drowned in the river. It was a heartbreaking turn of events for their family. Ditchi was completely concerned about a sports good company coming to their village to cut down the trees from their forest to make cricket bats. and sports equipment she worried about the consequences of deforestation including the risk of landslides and flash floods which had already tragically taken her dada's life and caused her injury after her accident and dada's passing chacha encouraged ditchi to focus on positive things and reminded her that she still had her mother brother chacha chachi to take care of her Ditchi found solace in observing nature from her tree like watching birds nest observing ants and enjoying the scent of ash leaves it was a way for her to find some comfort amidst the challenges she faced Ditchi found comfort in talking to her ash tree comparing its strength to that of her chacha he had encouraged her to be as strong as a yak and as determined as a yati with her crutches meanwhile her brother shouted about a village meeting ditchi quickly descended from the tree and grabbed her crutches and followed him it appeared there was a gathering of villagers around gauri the village elder in the face of threat to their precious trees gauri the village elder spoke up with wisdom asserting that despite their lack of formal education they possessed valuable knowledge and would not allow the trees to be given away to any company when the contractor chan and his eight men arrived to cut down the forest the villagers chose non violence and hugged the trees walking into the forest while chanting chipko slogans Ditchi showing her spirit played the dholak and question what these foresters were really producing the children responded in unison emphasizing the importance of soil water and pure air fearless contractor chan ordered the marking of trees with a white x leaving the villagers furious he and his men left with a wicked grin however the following day There was excitement in the village as government trucks arrived to take the man folk to watch a movie providing a welcome treat for the villagers amidst their struggle to protect their forest 
the village bustled with activity as women woven and the school echoed with the chatter of children after school ditchy and her brothers took the sheep to graze in the forest ditchy found solace in her favorite tree with its soothing leaves her peace was disrupted when a bus screeched to a halt beneath the cliff and a group of men get off the bus and walk toward their forest ditchy watched in distress fearing for her beloved ash tree she hurried down the mountain side and urgently called for her mother explaining the situation her mother quickly understood that it was the contractor's man who had come to chop down their trees she decided to gather everyone and women and children gathered with dholaks it was revealed that contractor chan had tricked the man folk the village elder gauri declared that they would resist but without resorting to violence ditchi exclaimed chipko hug the trees other women and children join in with shouts of support ditchi passionately stated you can't cut down my ash tree as she tightly wrapped her arms around it contractor chan forcibly pulled her away and yelled move out he scolded her harshly however ditchi clench every more even more firmly to the tree contractor chand retorted you foolish girl this forest provides us with timber resin and foreign exchange as he ordered his man to immediately begin chopping down the trees ditchi pleaded no 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 please don't do that while holding on to her tree these trees are our saviors Gauri also lent her support to Ditchi revealing that she had lost her dada in a flood then the axe man opened his burning palms to drop off his axes one after another all axe men moved out of the forest a dense cloud covered the sky casting a heavy shadow contractor chan stood before them he stamped his feet and marched away Ditchi took a deep breath unable to believe it all the x-men had left she exclaimed ma we did it we will take our chipko moment to every part of india they began celebrating with toe steps and feet thumps hand in hand joining in a joyous victory dance the ash tree swayed in the breeze and ditchi resented her cheek against its cool bark she felt the feathery leaves rustle in the evening breeze and whisper to the ash tree i am like you strong and fierce like a yati sturdy as a yak